Welcome back to the next video in ChatGPT. How to generate the functions of formulas in ChatGPT for Excel users. Now, as you know, everyone, that uh, there are 400 plus functions in Excel. Now, it's very difficult for a normal person to remember all the functions. Even if you contact a very experienced person who's 10 years experienced person in the Excel, they won't remember all the functions, which is obvious. It's very difficult. We only remember those functions which we use regularly. But sometimes you need those functions which can be helpful for you. Now, how do I get the answers? So let's see an example on my screen. I have a table where I have name of the uh, countries in the headers, which is USA, China and India. And here on the left hand side, I have name of all the courses which I have SQL, Excel, Python, R, Tableau and Power BI. Now, these are the number of students which I get from all the countries here, USA, China and India. Now, what I want to understand here is, if you see on the screen, if I search a course named as Excel, and if I search the name of the country as China, I want to get the answers over here. How many students I get from that particular country? That is my question. Okay. So here, if you see, this is a very lengthy formula. I am an experienced person, so I could spend some time on this. But if you do not have idea about this kind of complicated functions, you can ask GPT, it will give you in less than 60 seconds and you can get your work done. So let's try to understand. So I'll just copy students and paste it here. Okay, let's try to find out. Now you have to tell GPT in the exact very detailed format. What is the data? What is the input? And what is the output you're looking for? Okay, this things you have to tell in detail. If you tell them properly, then they will get the answers. You cannot ask them a vague answer or vague question. It will not give you the answer here. Let's try to understand. So what I'll do is I'll open a notepad over here. And in this notepad, I'll try to write down the question here. So I'll write here, I am an Office 365 Excel user. Now, you need to give the version as well because every version, the, the problem statement changes, the answer changes. In some version, you have a sequence function, some version you don't have a sequence function and so on. So you'll see I'm an Office Excel 365 user here. I have the data given as below. So I can copy the data, control C and here I can paste the data. Now I have to tell them that what is the location of this data. So I can tell them where the header is in cell A1. So where the header is in cell A1 and uh, SQL is in cell A2, right? So I've given the location of those data set. Now I will also ask them the question that suppose if I select the country name and the course name, okay, the country name and the course name, I should get the answers here. So, but it should understand, right? The country names is given the column headers and the course name is given on the row headers. So I'll write here, the country names are given in the column header. The country names are given in the column header. And the course name is given in the row headers. So I've given them. Okay. And now I will ask the actual question. This was the information about the data I've given them. Their location, what is the header, what is the row and so on. So now the question is that cell G1, I have the course name and cell G2, I have the country name. So cell G1 has the course name and cell G2 So now I'm asking the questions in the right manner that cell G1 as a course name and cell G2 as a country name. So if you observe here, G1 as a course name, G2 as the country name, and I want the answer in cell number G7. So I want to see the number of students based on cell G1 and G2 and get the answer in cell G7. So now why well, I've written in front of you everything because this is the method, the way you can ask GPD about the questions here. So now I can just copy this text over here, control C copy. Now I'll go to this GPD. I'll create a new chart because this is a completely different question which I have, control V. And now if I press enter, let's see. So it says to get the number of students, it has given all the uh, formula and the explanation completely. And now what is my job over here is just to copy and try to paste and check the answer. So what I can do is I can just copy this code over here and I can go back to Excel and here I can press control V. So when I press control V everyone, I have got the uh, direct answer. I don't have to do anything. This is the beauty of ChatGPT. 
Now, obviously, it may miss, make mistakes also sometimes, but you have to be very careful about how do I get the right answers. But it has made my work easy. I don't have to struggle to get the answers. Now, if you keep on asking multiple questions, can you make this uh, function better? Can you write it in a proper manner? So it is error-free or error-proof and so on. You will get the answers here. Now, this is a function which I've written manually. It took me at least three to four minutes after being having a lot of experience. But this has given me the answers quickly. Now, what is so fascinating about this topic again? The third question which I have, and that's the last question. If I select the option here, let's say Python, and if I select the option here as, let's say, India. So you see, India is a column and the Python is a row. And you see, 442 is the cell which has been highlighted in the red color. So if I select the country India, and if I select the row as Python, if you see the 442 value, it has been highlighted into some color here. Now, this is known as conditional formatting. I can guarantee out of 100 people, 80 to 90 percent people may not know how to get the answers. Okay. Now, even I didn't knew it earlier, but after chat GPT, I understood it much better. Uh, so, how do I get the answers quickly, everyone? So, first thing, I have to describe this properly. Okay. I have to describe the input data and the everything. Uh, I've already done that effort here in this upper data set right now. So what I can do is I can just ask the question in the last two lines. Okay. Cell G1 has the course name and G2 has the country name. What I want is I want to highlight. So I've asked them that cell G1 has a course name and G2 has the uh, country name. I want to highlight the intersection of G1 and G2 in the raw data. Tell me the steps. I do not know the steps. Let's see. I can copy control C and here I can paste control V. So when I paste the data, okay, what will happen is it will give me the answers over here. Now it will tell me it is more of a conditional formatting. Okay, conditional formatting. And what are the steps? So you see, it tells me that A1 to D7 has to be selected in this case. And then home tab. And then I have to go to the conditional formatting, new rule and new formatting rule. Here I have to do all the process and the steps. Now it has stopped in between this kind of issue you might find out some places. So I can just stop. I can ask them to regenerate. So this kind of error messages, you might get it multiple times because when the first query is going on, you cannot ask them the second query, number one. Second, there's some limit about asking questions to chat GPT. But this also changes depending upon the country you are using it right now. So I can ask them to regenerate. So because the previous query has been completed, how do I know? You see three out of three, that means there were two times also which was going on earlier. So now if you see, it has given me the answers, something uh, different, which are not the correct one. And I have to copy paste again, control V, enter. So now here, this is the right answer. So if you see this one, now to find out whether it is a correct or wrong answer, you need to be an Excel user, basic Excel user to understand the problems. So it tells me that new formatting rule, you have to go to this so-and-so value and then you have to apply those fields. So I can copy the code. Let's see if it works or not. Here I can go to this Excel. Now, first thing, it's already applied. So what I can do is I can clear the rules from the selected cells so that you understand. Right now, I can go to this manage rules, show you that there are no rules right now applied. Okay, that's the thing. Here in this conditional formatting, I applied a new rule. And here in this, use a formula to determine which cells to format. So I will just copy this formula. I'll copy the code over here. And here I can just paste the code. Now in this place, after that, which formatting I need to apply, I can go to the fill option, select this background color, and I can select the font color, click on OK and OK. So what will happen is this will apply the formatting, the conditional formatting on the data set. But now suppose it is not applying, we need to find out what exactly is the problem. So I can ask them, this does not work. Okay. As a beginner, you can test it by putting the data. But as an experienced person, I, you should quickly understand what is the mistake over there. Now, it is still not giving the right answer. So maybe you have to ask them the questions in a proper manner. So let me ask them the questions one more time over here. So the upper information remains the same. I have not changed the upper information. Now, what I've done is I have written here a question here that I want to color the cell which satisfies the condition of G1 and G2. Okay, that is one part here. So when the color changes, when the value changes in G1, G2, the data from B2 to B7 should get colored. Now exactly specified which area I want to color, what has to be done. 
So I can just copy this thing. And now in chat GPT, I can paste the data. And let's see what answer it gives me right now. So here it is trying to give me some formula over here. Okay, let me just copy this formula. Now, when I say copy, here in this Excel. Okay, by the way, I know the steps. So I can just quickly get you to the answers here. So I can select this data. I can select the data from B2 to D7. Conditional formatting, manage rules. If there are some existing rules in this data set, I can remove that part. Okay, I can just click on this worksheet. No rules are there. So I can go to this new rule option. And uh, here I can click on use a formula, paste the formula. In the format option, I can just click on this option. Click OK and OK. So now if you see, if I select the name of the course, Excel, and name of the country, let's say China, there are 548 students which I've got. So it is so fast that I can quickly get the answers by looking at the formatting which is done. This is the conditional formatting available in Excel. But using GPT, I came to know the answers very, very quickly. Okay. So this is how we can work on the uh, chat GPT. So I hope you have understood how to generate the Excel formulas using chat GPT. And that's all for this video.